on this week's edition of The Plant Doctor, how to propagate fiddle leaf fig. Hello and welcome to The Plant Doctor. If you're new to the channel, do us a favor, click the subscribe button and leave us a question down in the comments section and we'll do our best to answer that question for you regardless if it has to do with fiddle leaf fig or not. Uh, so today's episode is a little bit different. We're actually inside. So here in North Alabama today, we have some pretty big thunderstorms rolling through and I was looking for a video to do and I thought what better than to do something inside today and so we're going to look at fiddle leaf fig. So fiddle leaf fig is going to be a plant that is native to West Africa. It is not native to uh, North America but it is probably one of the most if not the most liked indoor plant definitely for trees in the United States and probably Canada as well. They're fairly easy to grow. Uh, as, as a matter of fact, uh, I bought a fiddle leaf fig two or three years ago and uh, so some of the tips of the leaf started to turn black and it was because I was taking too good care of it. Water them once a week very lightly when the soil dries out. For me, with the, the potting mix that I'm using, it's about once a week, and they're happy. They're happy as uh, anything that could be. Now, in terms of light, I've had this in a north-facing window. I've had it in a south-facing window, and it's done well. Uh, I, I really can't give a, a recommendation in terms of uh, put it in this type of light versus this light. Obviously, don't put it in full sun. This is an indoor plant. Uh, just have it close to a window where it can get some uh, ambient light and, and they're good to go. In terms of propagation, let's talk about propagating for a minute. I tried several different ways to try and propagate fiddle leaf fig. I tried an air layer, didn't do very good. I tried taking a, a cutting and, and putting it in uh, a potting mix and keeping that moist didn't do good. Both of those uh, died. And I tried this third method and, and I've done this two or three times now and I've had 100% success with it. And it's nothing more than putting it in a vase. So what I did, I took a cutting off of the fiddle leaf fig and removed the lower leaves okay so on this one I, I left four leaves on some of the others I've done I've left two I've left three so two to four leaves you can leave on remove three or four leaves off the bottom and then what I did the bottom of the cutting I used some rooting hormone so I, I dipped my cutting into root, the rooting hormone and then put it in the vase. That's all I did. Now, I change out this water probably once a week. Reason being is this. These stems have a lot of sap. They have a white sticky sap, which by the way, uh, when you're removing these leaves, don't get it on your uh, fingers or hands because it is an irritant to some people. It does have uh, some minor toxins in it. Uh, so be careful of that. You may want to wear gloves uh, so you don't get that on your hands. But what happens is my water would start to become milky because the sap was leaching out into this. And so every five to seven days, once the water had a milky appearance to it, I would dump that water out and put fresh water in. And so after about two to three weeks, uh, somewhere around days 15, 16, 17, I started to see some roots. And I've just left this in here for perhaps about three months now. And you can see I, I have some really 
really nice roots. And I'm, I'm getting ready to pot this up into a one gallon pot. And for my potting mix, I'm just going to use uh, pine bark. That's it, no vermiculite, uh, no peat, nothing that has a, a water retention agent in it because I found out these guys do not like to have wet feet. They like to get watered very periodically. I like that soil to completely dry out and then be watered again. So I, I don't want to put anything in the mix that is going to uh, hold water in that soil mix. I, I'm just looking for pretty much all my water to fall through the soil mix and just for it to be damp for a few days and then once it completely dries out we'll put a little more water on it and I fully expect this will be a full tree here in a couple years. Guys thanks for watching The Plant Doctor. Uh, like I said before if you have any questions put them down in the comments section and we will do our best to answer those. Until next time, happy gardening.